From the Avs to the Broncos, Mike Kliss joins us now. And Mike, Rob Walton still the leader in the clubhouse for ownership? He's still the assumed leader. It is premature because they haven't even submitted second round bids. That's supposed to come in another two or three weeks. And we'll know more then. When you put up your bid in that second round, that's when uh, the rubber will hit the road and we'll find out who the leader. Rob Walton can write the biggest check. That doesn't mean he will. I think he's neck and neck right now with Josh Harris, the Philadelphia 76ers and New Jersey Devils owner. Uh, he has a pretty good group together. We all know about Magic Johnson joining that group. Also, Michael Rubin of Fanatic, so he's uh, a well positioned. Byron Allen, um, uh, you know, I've talked to someone close to him, and he's supposed to come in in another week or two. And of course, the NFL wants minority uh, owner here with the Broncos. So uh, I would say it's still a little bit wide open, but we all know Rob Walton, as uh, who has seventy billion net worth, is the guy who can write the biggest check. Tom Green kind of money. Yep. Uh, rookie minicamp, Mike, <laughs> has come and gone. You were out there on the front lines last weekend. What was your biggest take from it? You know, the Broncos pick so late in the draft that there's really only two guys in this rookie class to pay attention to as far as 2022 is concerned. And that's Nick Benito, their number, uh, their second round draft pick, number 64 overall, and tight end Greg Dulcich, the tight end pick number 80 in the third round. Those are the only two picks the Broncos had in the top 114. Now, Mathis, the cornerback, he's probably going to contribute on uh, special teams. There'll be people like that coming in later in the year but for now it's just Benito and Dulcich they both they both look good in practice all right very good Mike thank you so much